At the time of this video recording, it is not possible to use Python 3.10 on Google Colab. I think you would be probably running 3.8 or something else. But there is a very kind user, Kurakut, who has made it possible for us to use Google Colab with Python 3.10. And I'm going to just show you exactly how to do that using the resources that Kurakut showed. And this is completely Kurakut's code and also Kurakut script. So this is not my original work, but I'm just making it easier for you to learn how to run Google Colab with Python 3.10. So the first thing is you have to this Google, the Stack Overflow answer will be linked in the YouTube description so you can check it out. But the first step is for you to click this notebook and this notebook will take you to Google Colab page. And there you can actually see that there are some helper script that this user downloads and installs, which ideally would be creating a Conda environment, installing Python 3.10 and also installing a IPy kernel for Python 3.10. So once you have this notebook, then first step is to duplicate this notebook in your own drive. Don't use this original notebook. Just create a copy, duplicate this notebook on your own Google Colab environment or Google Drive. Once you do that, then connect it. After you connect it, go click runtime. And once you click runtime and click change runtime, you can see that Python 3.10 is the runtime type that is selected. The good thing is you can use Python 3.10 on GPU as well if you want, but right now we are not going to do that. So now you have got Python 3.10 selected. The next thing is you need to install this. And after you install the first step, which is going to take some time, then you need to restart the notebook. And to verify that you can actually run this import sys print version sys dot version. Once you run this, that will help you understand what is the Python version that you are currently running on Google Colab. Whether you have got Python 3.8 or not, that doesn't matter. Even if you install Python 3.10, the kernel has to be mapped with the right Python version. That is why this step is critical for us to validate whether we are running Python 3.10. So once this download installation finishes, then let's check what is the version that we are running. Ideally, it would show Python 3.8. Then we have to restart our notebook. As you can see right now, all the libraries are installed and you can also see that there are there is a Conda environment. The next thing that you have to do is run this, the second cell, and it would ideally show you that you're running Python 3.7. So what you have to do is go to click runtime and click restart runtime. Once you restart runtime, then now you don't have to run the first cell. You have to just run the second cell. It is going to show you that you're running Python 3.10.6. And that is how exactly you can run Python 3.10 on Google Colab Notebook. Just to verify that, we can also run a very simple Python program that is very specific for Python 3.10. So the match statement is quite new on Python 3.10. So let's copy this and then go to the collab notebook that we have got and then click run. So click this. Now it's going to create a function. So I'm going to call this function and I'm going to say 200, maybe 418. And let's see what's going to happen. So it says I am a teapot. I am a teapot. So the math statement successfully works. That means our Python 3.10 installation is successful. Once again, thanks to Coracote for this amazing notebook and also the script that lets us run Python 3.10 on Google Colab Notebook without very much effort. The Google Colab Notebook and also the Stack Overflow answer will be linked in the YouTube description. Make sure you check them out. See you in the next video.